guys so glad to see you um i just wanted to come on here with a quick video i know that we're all in quarantine or self-isolation and this time has been kind of different for some of us um I hope and pray that you guys have been faring well in this time um and i want to kind of talk about you know what this time may have brought up in your heart and so you know some people who struggle with suicidal thoughts some people who struggle with depression anxiety paranoia um just emotions that they have you know kind of buried for a while and for some of us um those things have kind of been coming back up um and i would be lying to you if i didn't say that that wasn't the enemy trying to you know really get at you because it's really in those moments where we're isolated where we're by ourselves that the enemy tries to use those things to pick us off to try to use those things to um cause us to get so overwhelmed in our minds uh that we begin to think that what's going on in our minds is our new reality um and for some of us um for some people i've seen in the news that that or reality in our minds has caused them to take their life and so i just want to just kind of talk to you guys about how to best guard your mind and to really cultivate your relationship with god in this time um i think all of us are familiar with this scripture but i'm not you know exactly sure so i'm gonna turn to it proverbs 4 and 23 it says um, above all else guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life it's really important that we guard our heart um, from anything that may try to come in. We have so many things in the world. We have the news, we have media, we have social media, we have TV shows, we have other people's reports. Um, then we have things that we hear, we have things that we see um, that really have, um, if we be quite honest, they have equal opportunity of filling our spaces in our heart. Um, it's really about what you let and allow in your heart. If that looks like turning off the news, I know for me personally, I don't necessarily watch the news. I use my fire stick and so on every morning I'm on YouTube looking for something from my church and there's always this road that says news or COVID-19. Um, I don't click on those things, those videos, but I may look at the, the title of the video um, to just kind of gauge what people are talking about and, um, and things like that. But I personally don't ingest the news because for me, it, it may not be that much of a thing for you, but I'm sure we all know by now that one of the tactics of the enemy is to you know, cause widespread fear. And one of the ways he does that is through the news, through media outlets. So for me personally, I just choose to not even engage in stuff like that um, so that I do not allow fear entry into my heart my main thing is you know keeping my sanity and making sure that i'm guarding the word in my heart um because um it's a very important passage in mark chapter four where it's talking about the parable of the sower and there in this parable are a lot of things that the enemy uses to uh, snatch the word out of our heart like every sunday i'm more than certain our pastors are telling us do not fear. We see memes that say faith over fear, all of that. But the moment that some people get a stat or they hear something about um, someone that they were kind of close with, then they go, oh my God, it's hitting closer to home. Some people cannot take that. And that is one of the ways. Um, if I look at um, Mark chapter four, um, verse 19, or I'll start at verse 18. It says, still others... This is Jesus talking. Still others, like seeds sown among thorns, hear the word. So we hear the word. But the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of riches, and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. So even though some of us hear that word on Sunday, faith over fear, do not fear, the best is yet to come. Even though we hear that, for some people, when we get uh, or hear about the worries of this life, for some people, that is COVID-19. For some people, it's the fact that they've been laid off. I personally been laid off from my job. It could be, how am I going to feed myself? How am I going to take care of these kids? How, how am I going to pay this and that bill? The worries of this life come in and choke out the word 
that we're supposed to have faith over fear, faith in God, that he can sustain us and provide for us and do whatever it is we need in this season. We let the worry, the cares of this world, the worries of this life choke out that word. And now it's unfruitful. That word is faith over fear is unfruitful. Now you're just stuck with the fear, you know? So that's one of the things that the enemy tries to do. So if watching the media is something you can't do, don't do it. Get your little updates. But if you can't handle seeing the death tolls every day, seeing the, the horrifying stories that people have been telling, then just don't do it, okay? That's one way you can guard your heart. Guarding your heart is not only about um, stopping the bad things from getting in, it's also making sure that you're putting the good things in. For me, I go ahead and put on the worship song, a praise song, and I sing the words of that song. I worship God, I praise God, and I just spend that time thanking him first for everything he's done. Take that time to confide in God, and then you go to the word, whatever that, you know, whatever you need to talk about, you know, with God that day, say, God, I've been struggling with um, being feeling lonely because um, I have been feeling that. I'm not going to, you know, play like I have it. I have been feeling that. What I have been struggling with feeling lonely. Um, let me find a scripture about being lonely. Let me find a scripture about you being my friend or you always being here, never forsaking me. The word of God is our standard. The word of God, is, it gives life. So they grant us, you know, the life and the, the spirit of God that we need to make it from day to day. And if you don't have your dose of life that day, then you are possibly um, not guarding your heart correctly. So another thing that's very important that I think we need to talk about it are some natural things. One of the things the devil does is that he utilizes an idle mind um, to kind of plant those seeds of depression and worry and suicide and all of those things. And so one of the things that I found very helpful, even though, you know, I'm a single, so I'm here in one place all day by myself. I have to establish a, a routine, things that I do, and on my wall I have a to-do today list. Um, you don't want to just lie down in bed all day uh, for however many days we have left of this, um, allowing you know our minds to be idle. You want to continue to put things in. You want to continue to stay active. So you want to set yourself up a routine, whatever that looks like for you. Um, if it's a goal for you to get up and literally shower every every day then do that like if that's gonna help you do that if you want to sign up for some free webinars for a skill that you wanted to do if you want to you know whatever that is then take that time to do that what i'm saying is don't allow the curtains to be drawn all day you stuck in the pajamas that you've been having on for three three uh, days uh, without showering and just allowing you know the tv or whatever to just put images in your head all day so you want to make sure that you know you are guarding your thoughts that you are putting the word of God in that you have a routine to get you through this time um and you know whenever the enemy tries to bring a thought in your mind about um your past how you may the enemy might say your failure you didn't get that done or thoughts of depression or even suicidal thoughts take that time to say no i'm gonna get up from this i'm gonna shake it off i'm gonna go do something productive i'm gonna walk in my neighborhood i'm gonna walk you know around my house whatever that is and also while you're you know do those things naturally but the thing is you want to fight spiritually too so you want to get whatever scripture you need concerning that if it's um one scripture that i use second corinthians uh, 10 and 5 if you want to say you know what I demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and I take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ I will not accept that thought of depression I will not accept that thought of suicide I will not accept that thought of worry anxiety or fear instead I am going to cast that down and command that thought to make it obedient to Christ so devil I resist you so you must flee and then you go on about your day you do whatever it is you you think you need to do if you're struggling with um uh thoughts that you know you probably shouldn't be having then that may be the moment in which you say okay let me get up let me do a worship song let me get up let me go um you know look at this scripture right quick let me say this over myself boom take care of it okay let's not go back to that thought pattern so you want to make sure that in this time you are really guarding your heart guarding your thoughts and making sure that you are being productive all right bye guys